guys, welcome back to Vlogmas. Okay, so today, the sun is in my eyes, but today I really want to work on a project. I bought some wreaths from a thrift store and they're just plain old, nothing special wreaths. And I am planning on putting fake snow on this, adding in some of those like red berries. And these wreaths are gonna go on these two doors right here. And then I have a third one. The third one's gonna go right there. Really quick, let's get, let's get to this project. So I have a spray. I guess I should read the instructions. So, um, branches, trees, wreaths, centipedes. Oh. It literally says on the spray bottle not to use this out for outdoors. So I finished all three. It technically said that it wasn't supposed to be used for outside, but, what? but my uh, solution to this is Gorilla Glue Spray. So I'm gonna wait for it to dry and then I'm gonna take Gorilla Glue Spray and spray it. And cross my fingers and toes that it stays on. The kids are down for a nap, so I'm actually going to go and try to do some work in the garden really quick. Okay, so yesterday, <laughs> But I really quickly cleaned up these or these sections right here and I went ahead and I planted garlic regular sized garlic but then also elephant garlic elephant garlic by the way if you've never seen it before it's super cool um I'll insert a photo right here and I found it at Publix I am experimenting and seeing if it'll grow or not. I was able to get a lot done um, in the garden uh, I got like a section done so I cleaned up probably four different grow bags um, and out of those four I, I uh, planted shallots 
I didn't plant anything in the other ones yet. And then on the two arch trellises on that side, uh, I planted peas, which I need another 20 gallon one for like this side of the arch trellis. But that side's pretty well planted. Okay, so Stan just brought up the Gorilla Glue spray. I'm going to spray these really quick because they are dry, but I touch them and the stuff comes off very easily. So I think if I spray it with Gorilla Glue spray, it'll stick a lot better. I'm gonna let that dry, see if it works. If it doesn't, then I'm gonna have to find I guess like a flock spray. Okay, so I am in the kitchen right now and I'm making a sushi bake. So I already have my, this mixture ready right here, which is basically just imitation crab, cream cheese, mayo, sriracha, and green onions. And now I'm about to make my rice like section and I'm gonna do rice with the rice vinegar sesame oil and get that all mixed up and then once that's done I'm gonna put my imitation crab mixture on top of that and then we're gonna broil it in the oven I think I, I don't think you broil it that long I think you broil it for like five to ten minutes I'm gonna google it before I actually do it so I'm gonna get this together really quick actually going to bake it for um 10 minutes at 380. I'm really excited to try this. It's I've heard a lot of people talk about it and be really good. So this is my first time making it and I am personally really excited. Well it was really hot when we were outside so that's why I turned it down. I turned the heat off. Ha, 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 ha. 